So today I'm going to show you some of my rock paintings and I'm going to show you exactly how I paint my rocks. So inside this I have my rock collection if you will. So a lot of these are painted rocks. A few years ago I was into painting rocks so I painted this probably seven years ago or something and I did several of these. Like there were frogs and then I had some that were dogs and I painted some hog razorback rocks so I was really into this and then you know I, I went to college and I did all these other things got a job and it wasn't something that I continued to do it, recently I got back into painting rocks again and then I went through and I organized what I did paint and some of the other rocks and other cool treasures that I found while at the creek or other places that I've explored but yeah, so I'm only going to show you the ones that I painted from this. I'll make another video, maybe, of the other rocks that I think are just cool and that I just kept just because I thought they were fun. So in the top drawer, this is where I keep my rocks that I painted. So it'll come out. So like I said, I recently got back into this, so these are just some of the new ones that I painted this week. And so I have a rainbow, I painted a stocking, this is a little Arkansas with a smiley face, I have a piece of pizza, I have a ladybug, I have two frogs, where they're just their heads and then I have the whole body of these frogs and they're both smiling. I have this cute little tiny car. I have the hen on her nest and a chocolate chip cookie. So if you're interested in this, all you really need to do is just to go outside, look around on the ground, and if you see a rock that looks like something or you think, hey, that's cool, pick it up. And all I use is acrylic paint, you know, just the cheap stuff from Walmart. And then I use um, a top coat. And this is also from Walmart. It was a dollar. It's cheap and it makes it look kind of shiny and it makes them almost look like plastic and not rocks. And I think they turn out cool and they're really fun to make. So I encourage you to just go outside and take a walk and find what you can and just have fun with it. When I'm looking for rocks, I try to find small rocks because they're easier to put somewhere versus big rocks. I mean, there's nothing wrong with painting big rocks, but for me personally, it just takes up a lot of room and I just don't want to have big, huge rocks laying around my room. And before I start, I do have a thing for painting rocks that look like frogs. I've done this for years. I don't know why I find rocks and I'm like, hey, that looks like a frog. And then I paint them, but that's just what I see. And you know, I grew up and one of my favorite animals was the frog, so. So as you can see, I have this little bitty frog. And I found another rock that kind of looks like it. And it's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to paint it and make it a frog as well. But I'm going to use a different color green. So I stuck this piece of felt underneath there just to see if I can get my camera to focus a little bit better, and I think it does.
So now I'm going to paint another rock. So I painted the frog. So now I'm going to paint this rock. And I think this one looks like a hen sitting on a nest. So like here's the head. Here's the nest. And then, then these are here are like her tail feathers. So my hen is going to be white, so I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole hen with white even though I'm going to turn the nest like a tannish color. So I switched out the piece of paper for this piece of cardboard so you can see the rock better since I am painting it white. So I put three layers of white paint on this, so I'm going to turn it over and paint the back now.